Hello my friends, I'm Clover, this is the Gas Channel, and today we are solving I Overslept by Philip Newman. So this was originally posted in Gas on November 5th, 2024, and it is a killer Sudoku. So in killer Sudoku, we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. Then there are also some cages in the grid, and each of these cages has a little clue number written in its top left corner. And that clue tells you the sum of the digits that go into the cage. There's also typically a rule stated that digits can't repeat in cages. Here we're not going to be using that rule to solve because all of our cages are already contained within a single row or a single column. But in general, that is a feature of Killer Sudoku. So a lot of these cages only have one possible way to make up the sum. Three can only be one and two. Six can only be one, two, and three in three cells. Four can only be one and three. 23 is only 6, 8, and 9, 16 is only 7 and 9, and this puzzle really majors on these one possible way to make the total cages. 7 is always 1, 2, and 4, and I think those are the only ones that are always fixed in one particular way, but I just wanted to fill those out real quick just to show you how powerful knowing these totals off the top of your head is in this particular killer Sudoku. So we have a 7 here, which makes this a 9. And then the 9 places a 9 in this cage up here. 3 here makes this a 1, and then the 1 places a 1 in this cage down here. This cannot be a 3, of course, and this cannot be a 7. Now if we want to make 14 in two cells without using a 6, it has to be 5 plus 9. And if we want to make 6 in two cells without using a 4, it has to be 1 plus 5. Now we know we have a 7, 8, 9 triple down here already, so that's a 5 and that's a 9. And that's going to resolve some of these cages. And then 1, 2, and 3 here makes this a 5 and a 1. And that's now a 2 and a 1. So now we need to make a total of 21 in this cage. We're not allowed to use a 5. So there are three ways to make 21 in three cells. 6 plus 7 plus 8. 5 plus 7 plus 9, which is out because we've used a 5 in the column. And 4 plus 8 plus 9. So we, are no we know we're using either 4, 8, and 9 which would put a four down there, or six, seven, eight possibly. And that doesn't narrow things down a ton. So we're not gonna pencil mark the equivalent down here. We're gonna move on to something else. We need to do a total of five without a one in it. So that has to be two plus three right here. 15 without a nine in it has to be seven plus eight right here. Eight always has a one in it, no matter what. And the one can't go in these cells, so it must go here. And then the remaining two digits sum to seven. So they're either two plus five or three plus four. We can't do three plus four because there's a three in the region. So that is a five and a two. And this is a four. That is what's gonna crack this 21 cage because we just eliminated four from the last cell in the cage. So it's gotta be the six, seven, eight option, which turns that into a nine. These are now going to be three and four to finish off the column. And in this region, we still need one, two, and a four. That can't be a one, that can't be a two, that cannot be a four. Okay, now nine here. Well, actually 22 here without a nine in this region, 22 will always have a nine in it and three cells. So it has to go right there. And then the other two cells have to sum to 14. So they are either five and eight or 13, so they're either 5 and 8 or 6 and 7. So that's going to be 5 and 8. It's going to be a 6 and an 8 with a 7 right here. This is now going to be a 6 and an 8 and a 2. That 2 resolves this, and that's going to take care of the rest of this 9 cage. 2 plus 4 is already 6, so that's 2, 3, and 4. These are going to be 7 and 9 to finish off the region. And this is going to be a 6, a 2, a 4, 5 and an 8. There's an 8 and a 6 right here. And then to finish this column, we need a 4 and a 6. The 4 there tells us which way around those go. To finish this row, we're going to need a 6 and a 7, which will go this way around. These will be 5, 6, 8, and 9. And this nearly, yep, this completely resolves this top right corner using Sudoku. Now we need to place 3 and 5 to finish this row. 4 and 7 to finish this row, which resolve at this point, and a 6 right here, a 4 and a 3, a 1 and a 4, and a 2 and a 5 to finish that region, 
And finally, we're going to place as our last two digits a 5 and a 7. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's lovely, very symmetrical killer cage Sudoku called I Overslept. Hope you enjoyed that one. The link to check it out yourself is in the description below this video. And I will see you again in three days.